The past decade has seen the longest sustained conflict in our nation's history. During that time, only a fraction of 1% of Minnesotans have served our country in the theater of war. Though the percentage is small, the burden placed on soldiers, their friends, families, and neighbors is great. How long is Daddy going to be gone? For one birthday and one Christmas. I'm going to miss every one of them, every 15, 20 of them. Twin Cities Public Television is committed to educating Minnesotans about the sacrifices our neighbors, co-workers, friends, and families have made when the nation has called for their support. Welcome home, Sergeant David Olson. Uncle Matt's coming home. Since 2006, TPT has been working with the Minnesota National Guard and the Minnesota Department of Veterans Affairs to document how these sacrifices affect our soldiers and the lives of the people they touch at home and abroad. A lot has happened in our state since National Guard troops headed to the Middle East, and no one knows that better and the families the troops left behind. Upon the return of the 1st Brigade combat team in 2007, TPT ran a live statewide broadcast exploring the issues our returning soldiers would face as they transition from war to daily life at home. He's been at the point of the spear. None of the skills we taught him for his survival in Iraq transfer here. He obviously is a sensitive, intelligent young man, and he's hardened by his combat experience. How do we help him thaw? rejoin society, find new skills, and move ahead in life. That's no little task. This is my second deployment. I am married. My husband's name is Justin, and then I have three children. Two years later, TPT produced a documentary allowing viewers into the lives of five soldiers and their families during a year-long deployment to Basra, Iraq. Regular check-ins and a TPT embed with the troops allowed viewers to connect with each of the five soldiers to understand what a year away at war means. We're still doing the same stuff that we would do, but just knowing that he's not right there next to you is where the difference lies. Leaving our base to the location, the convoy, is one of the most uh, dangerous and most important things that we get right every single time. To remind Minnesotans that we are yet in the midst of the nation's longest sustained conflict, TPT returned to the battlefield in 2012. All right, spread it out. If you're within five meters, the guy next, too close. In our documentary, Bridging War and Hope, we brought the austere and dangerous environment of southeastern Afghanistan into the homes of TPT viewers. The self alpha here? What, what are they growing the alfalfa for? Providing a tangible connection between Minnesota's 22 guard soldiers serving with the agribusiness development team and the Afghan people they were in country to assist allowed Minnesotans yet another connection point to our state's citizen soldiers. What are these? What are these? <laughs> Watermelon? I was an M60 machine gunner. Ran a lot of convoys, a lot of river patrol. It's hard to describe if, if you're not a veteran, but there's a, an instant bond between veterans. Through introducing viewers to veterans of past wars, TPT has shown how the wide range of veterans' experiences plays into their lives and how the Department of Veterans Affairs has support systems in place to help veterans and their families along the way put in 31 years. I think he deserves to be taken care of, yes, and it appears that this is where he will be for his final years. Our program, Home for Heroes, provided a glimpse into the delicate decisions of when and how to place a loved one into a state veteran's home. It should be a, a happy place and a place where people want to come and it's, uh, as I mentioned before, it's a place of honor. Whether the stories are near or far, Twin Cities Public Television actively partners with our military and veteran communities to inform Minnesotans about the nature of war and life after war. Love your family, and I'll see you on the I don't want bangs and whistles, I just want my family back. Everybody's safe, we're all together, we made it, you know, kind of a triumphant, we did it, but at the same time, everybody can just breathe again. 
the next year, everything I've heard is that it's gonna be harder than the year we've just been through.